Mario Party, a game where friends and family are pitted against each other in a battle of mini-games and pure luck to get stars and win the game. And Minecraft, a game where you... You mine and craft stuff. Normally, these two games have nothing to do with one another, but today, I have mashed the two together and brought four of my friends to play a game of Mario Party in Minecraft. This this like I'm, re guys, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Everyone get up here and let's get them moving. Spider, it is your turn. Let's roll you twice. Your first roll is a three. Your second roll is a one. You move forward four spaces. Bruce, you go six. Lost Man moves forward eight. You move forward six, Jay. The first mini game of Mario Party in Minecraft is Dig Straight Down. The rules for Dig Straight Down on Go you will dig straight down. The first person to hit the bottom wins. Ready? Go! And ladies and gentlemen, everyone goes down. Lost Man, he has chosen the far left, and that has proven pretty well for him. Lost Man succeeds! Oh. Lost Man takes the first minigame by a long shot by following the most clear instructions the game laid out for everyone. He just went down straight, that was the strat. You see, I made the path have other types of blocks to make people want to avoid them, but if you followed what the title says, you'll see that winning the game is deceptively simple. But hey, that's Mario Party for you. So the next round began, and normally players take their time to carefully plan out where the best path to the star is so they can get the best chance of winning. Instead, Bruce just didn't pay attention and goes the opposite direction. You realize, Bruce, the star's over there and you went to the right? Where is it? Where I said the star is right here? Well, maybe you should have told me that. <laughs> but that mistake could pay off because he landed on a battle minigame space. Battle minigame, battle minigame it is! Battle minigames work just like they do in Mario Party. Everyone has to give up coins and the winner gets the share, so maybe if Bruce can pull off a win, his drastic mistake would be reversed. Each person will go in order and choose a lever. If the lever drops you, you have been eliminated. Each time a person is eliminated, I will choose randomly which lever will be the new dropper. This is the obvious choice, so I'm not going with that, so I'm going with this one. Well, hit the hit the button and see where spider goes. Three, two, one. You're good. You are safe. Oh, oh. Quick. Your, turn. Turn. your turn. Okay, so statistically, it can't be this one. Then. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Bruce just dies. Spider ends up winning the game, and Bruce is now in a terrible location, and with 10 less coins. But then Jay lands on a battle minigame space, giving Bruce a second chance to redeem himself for his poor choices. Okay, statistically, it can't be this one. I can't die twice. <laughs> <laughs> and he just dies again. So now it's just Jay, Spider, and Lost Man who are neck and neck racing for the star. But before anyone could get to it, Lost Man lands on a green space. The green spaces on this board are special events that give you a 50-50 chance of helping or hurting you by either giving or taking coins, teleporting you to another player, or changing the star's price. It is bad. Stars are now 30 coins. With a star now 30 coins, Jay couldn't buy it, and it's now between Spider and Lost Man to see who could get the first star. Hide and go buy. This is a 1v3 game. The one is Lost Man. Each choose one space to go into. His goal of his three button presses is to knock every single person out. One down. No! Bruce, <laughs> it's all down to Spider. Oh <laughs> Lost Man had done it. Sure, the game wasn't really skillful and it was all down to luck, but still Lost Man won and was able to get the first star and take the lead. But unfortunately, I began to have a small problem. You see, Mario Party is notorious for being unfair due to its randomness, which often leads its players to be frustrated and blame the computer. Usually this doesn't matter since you can't reason with or ignore the computer because it runs the game for you. So hypothetically, what would happen if there isn't a computer and the person running the game has to rely on the players to cooperate? Please cooperate as well as possible because I will lose my sanity if not. Please stop, Bruce. Great, broken game. <laughs> oh, sorry, we'll start here. I hate this game. Stop, stop. Lost right. man, stop. Three. No, no, no. This game is rigged.
Finally, our game hits halftime. At halftime, Lost Man has the only star, Jay and Bruce have a couple of coins, so Spider ends up in last place. During halftime, I make a few changes to the board, such as blue and red spaces give and take six coins instead of their regular three, but also since Spider is in last place, he gets a golden pressure plate, which allows him to teleport instantly to the star one time. So moving on, a few things happen these next few rounds, so here's a quick recap. Bruce gets a star, but right after, he lands on a green space, which takes away the rest of his coins. Spider also gets a star by using his gold plate to teleport instantly to the next star space, and Bruce lands right in front of another star on track to become first place. And Jay has no stars. The board was set. Bruce had less than 20 coins, but he was the closest to the star, so he had to win this next minigame to have the best chance of winning Mario Party. Nautical nonsense! You all have to come back here, grab the torch, and then ride all the way back and place it on the purple block. First one to place it on the block wins. Three, two, one, go! The spider is in a minimal lead with Lost Man right behind. Lost Man pulls ahead of Spider but then hits the wall. Spider's back ahead. Jay is just fumbling back there. Spider is pulling ahead but Bruce has come from behind. Ooh, Bruce has had a mishap there. Oh, Lost Man is pulling ahead and... But you gotta place it down. Bruce won! <laughs> Bruce won! <laughs> Bruce had done it. He beat Lost Man in the final stretch by four frames. This huge win completely made up for his mistake of going the wrong way at the beginning because now Bruce has 20 coins to get the star and the best chance to win the whole game. Except Spider went first and he landed on a green space which changed the price to 30 coins. Let's go! <laughs> Get out of here, bro! But all was not lost. If Spider doesn't have 30 coins, maybe Bruce can just make it around in time to get Bruce Lance on a green space and change the price to 10 coins. <laughs> Stars are 10 coins! Hey, that's Mario Party for you. And with that, Spider pulls into first place. With not enough time for anyone else to get another star, he has practically already won the game. What about bonus stars? In Mario Party, once the game ends, the players all gather together and the game chooses to give extra stars to the players for things they did while playing. Originally, I hadn't had time to keep track of what everyone did, so I had told everyone there wasn't going to be any bonus stars. But as the game was wrapping up, I got a call from my sister who was watching and she had kept track of some of the in-game events. So over a phone call, she came up with two bonus stars and with that, the final stars were given out. Currently, we have two stars that I do agree with. Yeah. For most green spaces. That's gotta be me, huh? That is definitely Bruce. Me. Practically all around the board. I think I only <laughs> did on one or two blue spaces. Uh, you, it was so rare. The last star, and this was chosen by my sister. I am not sure that any of you deserve this one. Most cooperative. It is not Bruce will Sprout. So it's Spider? It is Lost Man. What? I. It's, Lost Man. It's her choice. It was her choice, ladies and gentlemen. There we have it. Lost Man 64 is the winner. Lost Man has died and has won the game. Good night, everybody. That is it. That is how it happened. Hey there, everybody. Thanks so much for watching this video. It was a lot of fun to do and a lot of work to make. So if you would, please consider subscribing. It truly would help me out a lot. Have a great rest of your day, guys.